Beautiful. Nice banjo. Yeah, the greatest, right? You cannot yes. beat the roots. Yes, they're unbelievable. They love you too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Salma Hayek Pino. Uh huh. That I've never. Uh, you got married. Pino, I got married. Yes. Congratulations. That's Thank great. You. I haven't seen you since you got married. Yes. So uh, Pino. Is it, no. Is it French? Yes. Pino. Uh huh. What is his first name? Francois. Francois? You're kidding me. No. Oh, that's fantastic. What a great French name. Francois Henri. Francois Pinot. Ili? Francois Henri Pinot. Oh, Henri? You're joking me. <laughs> <laughs> you hit all the bases. That is so French. <laughs> Francois Henri Pinot. That's right. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, I love that. That's great. Well, it's good to see you. Last time I worked with you, we were on the Sama Hayek days uh, over on Saturday Night Live. That's Ooh. right. And you were great. You were such a great host on that show. Would you do it, it again? So scary. Um, only if you're in it. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll do something with you if you want to. You know to. what? I feel like I've been doing it because I've been seeing everybody oh, fr from that time. You That's know, right, Maya. Maya. I'm doing this movie. I did this movie with, and it was so much fun. And I really got along well with her when we did, you know, Saturday Night Live. And it was my first time at comedy, and she was so supportive. And it's it's great that we got to work together. And also, I did Thirty Rock with uh, Tina. Tina Fey. That's right. Yeah. Right. That's and right. Of course, in this movie, everybody comes from there. Well, Adam so. Sandler, Chris Rock, David Spade. Yeah, so uh, I feel like I've been doing Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it feels like you're at a reunion, oh, yeah, <laughs> a yeah. reunion show. Yeah, The movie is hilarious. You got some of the biggest laughs in the movie. It's so you did a great funny. job. I oh, love yeah. the film. Well, I'm so happy to see you smiling because you were a little upset backstage. I was. Yeah. <laughs> you, tell everybody why. This is insane. Um, because I am a huge soccer fan and today Mexico lost. <laughs> but we still pass to the next round. But in second place. I wanted to go in first place. You want to, you want to be in first place. You're not happy. Just, yeah, no, because you're a I perfectionist. To, it, no, it's not that. It's because if you, because we went on second place, now we have to play against Argentina. That's no, it's not woo. That's really difficult. That's probably the best team in the whole world. Cup. You know, I just think. The Virgin of Guadalupe must be so busy right now with all the Mexican spraying because we need a miracle that we can do. <laughs> that is great. You do, so do, you, uh, do you watch the game with your husband? Because he's, he's French. <laughs> and they love the World Cup, right? Oh, yes. No, and even when there is no World Cup, we watch all the soccer games. He has a soccer team. Wait a sec. Mexico played France to, and beat France. That's right, yes. <laughs> that must have been sticky in the household. It was sticky, yeah. Even before we started playing, because when he came from, from work, I had decorated the whole house Mexican. Mexican flags everywhere, Mexican food, and I invited all my Mexican friends. <laughs> and we were really loud, and then after we won, all the French people went home, and we stayed up and party, and he couldn't go to sleep. <laughs> Did they all left with their baguettes and their wine? Yes, yeah. and we Tequila. Yeah, he got the tequila and stayed and he up said, party. Where am I? I? I thought I was in Paris. This is Mexico. <laughs> you transformed the house. Yeah. That's pretty fun times. Uh, so, uh, I love that. I gotta get into it. I mean, USA, I'm going to USA all the way. They yeah. got a good team. They got a great team. Oh, yes. And they yes. did well. They did well. But yes. see, I, I'm, I we'll kind see of. tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow's a big match. Yeah. Yeah, and they, uh, so I didn't quite understand because they, they tie. Uh -huh. And then they tie it again, uh -huh. and then I go, well, we're out of it. And somebody goes, no, if someone no. else, if England ties, and we're still in it. Yeah, because so I, it, it depends. I, it, and they tied the second time, but they really, they should have won. They should have won. They got right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're still yeah. in. We're still in. Uh, well, let's talk about Grown Ups. Yes, let's talk about Grown Ups. Uh, I love this movie. I love the idea of this movie. I love, you know, Adam Sandler's one of my favorite uh, comedians of all time. Me too. And uh, he, so basically... And some of my other favorite comedians of all time are also in that movie. So this is... Oh, good. I mean, Chris Rock, I mean, let me just look. Here's a list Kevin here. James. Kevin James is hilarious in the movie. David. David Spade, we love. He's always good. Chris, Rob, Rob Schneider, Maya Rudolph is amazing. Maria Bello, Colin Quinn, great Tim movie. Meadows, and Steve Buscemi is hilarious too. Oh, yeah. But basically what it is... Even this? the dog is funny in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty the dog is oh, funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's his name, but he was funny in the movie. And Mama Ransoni, you have to see this woman. She's a revelation. I mean, she was oh, stealing yeah. all the jokes. I don't yes. know her, yeah. Well, she was now hilarious. You, now you, yeah, she was, everybody, the kids, everyone. Now, wait, because it, it was shot in New Hampshire, right? Yes. On some lake yes, house. In, in, yes. And you, you uh, cuz basically the story is 30 years later their their basketball coach dies and these this bo young boys basketball team get together all their they're all friends they go down to mourn to go to the coach's funeral. Right. And then they just realize that, you know, they want their kids to grow up and 
Yeah, they wanted. They they the realized that they've been gone in different directions. They all went in different directions, and it's about friends calmly coming together and families coming together. And it's a uh, it's very 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 funny, but also it really has a heart. Yeah. Not in a mushy way, but it really deals with important issues about family and about friendship and about growing up. Yeah, it's really good. It was super fun. I love watching everybody like work together. It was like it's so interesting to see it. Uh, I know you guys all lived in cabins, like or lives in right yes. on the lake. Yes. How fun is this movie? That was amazing. I Ke would love to do that. Kevin was my neighbor. No way. Yes. How great! Did you have parties and stuff? Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> and we also have kids that are all around the same age, so we had the parties with the kids, but we also had the parties without the kids. It was fun. Little adult ways. parties. Yes. Yeah, I heard you had a karaoke party. Yes, I did. My it, it was my husband's birthday, and we had a karaoke party, and you know we all sang. Even Francois sang. Francois Henri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, you know, <laughs> I cannot believe that he sang. No, he did a good job. What did he but sing? But it was a tough crowd. I don't remember what he sang because we were all upstage. I mean, Maya Rudolph, she can sing. But uh, I thought, okay, that was the highlight of the night. But then uh, Kevin and Adam uh, did a duet. You don't bring me flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they and did that. and Adam was Barbara Streisand. <laughs> That is it was so, very, super very fun. funny, well, but I, good. I, yeah, we're good. They can funny. sing. Oh, yeah, they can. Absolutely. I'm super musical. Well, you uh, got some of the biggest laughs in this movie, Grown Ups. Uh, here's a clip of one of them, Salma Hayek, you know, check it out. <laughs> very touching movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, this is a perfect example of the film because they would give you a script and, of course, this, you would learn your lines and then these guys would get on the set and then, like, like machine guns, bah, 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 one joke after another, nothing was scripted. You don't know when you're supposed to talk or what's the line. Everything, most of the film is improvised. So for this scene, I had a very tender scene where I realized that I don't know how to skip rocks anymore. And then I decide that I have to change. I want to, you'll see why. I don't want to give it up. But it was supposed to be a really tender one. And then in the middle of the scene, one of them, I don't remember, Spade or Adam or Kevin, one of them said, Oh, why don't you just hit your son with the rock? And I'm like, that's awful. Yeah, it'll be funny. So, of course, I did that with the movie. But the whole movie is like that. Well, it that. worked out. It was really, really funny. Oh, my gosh. Well, you got to come back. Please, and congrats on the movie. Thank Salma you. Salma Hayek, you know, Grown Ups is in theaters this Friday. Go see it. Jeffrey Donovan.